what is going on everyone welcome to the detox channel so you know i talk about toxic relationships a lot um and and one of the things i failed to cover uh is the toxic relationships that we deal with um in friendships and with other women right i'm always talking about you know romantic toxic relationships and things like that um but a lot of times you know people have to heal from from toxic relationships they they had with friends or or quote unquote friends um people that they thought were their friends um and and they found out the hard way that they they weren't they weren't their friend right and so um you know one of the things i have noticed as a you know woman who's just i guess as a woman that just lived as a, as a woman who's who's breathing on earth <laughs> One of the things that I have noticed is that there is um, there is a lot of toxicity amongst women. There's a lot of toxicity amongst amongst women. You would think that a lot of women just straight up hate each other. You would you would think that a lot of women just straight up just hate each other the way that some women act towards each other. It just is like why do y'all hate each other so so much? Um, I, I personally have experienced a lot of, you know, toxicity from women, um, a lot of jealousy and, and just all these things. And so what I really want to touch on is, is the psychology of the jealous woman, right? You know, I want to give you um, five signs of, of a jealous woman that your, you, your friend, your quote unquote friend may be jealous of you. Okay. Your quote unquote friend may be jealous of you. All right. Okay. So, um, first sign. All right. They like to exploit your gifts and your good heart. Okay. A lot of times when somebody is jealous of you, they also like to exploit you. They like to use you for, their own personal gain okay they like to use you for their own personal gain right they don't like you they want to they want to they want to be in your place they want to have what you have you know and and the next best thing to having what you have is actually getting getting it out of you for their own benefits all right and so you know you may have maybe you're the pretty girl of the friend group <laughs> okay and so your your friend may only invite you out because she wants to attract more guys right she's like you know i i know i'm not going to get anybody coming over my way with just me so let me invite such and such so you know you know maybe i can piggyback off of the attention that she's going to get and and then it ultimately end up ends up backfiring right it ends up backfiring because um, what happens is it just magnifies what they're lacking because, you know, at the end of the day, what happens is the guys just approach you, right? They just only approach you. Your friend tries to get in a conversation. He's like, oh, that's nice anyways. So are you single? Like <laughs> they completely ignore the other friend, right? And so it just magnifies what she's lacking and just makes her even more jealous of you. Kind of reminds me of like uh, Saul and David, um, how how uh when they came back from their their war or their battle how uh david ended up getting all of this this praise they, honestly they were both getting praise right um so you know the the girls were singing slaw uh saw slayed his thousands david slayed his ten thousands y'all were both getting praise but because david got slightly uh, more credit <laughs> than saul right because he honestly probably he did kill more people than Saul right David was known as being a really good fighter okay so um because he got more praise David ended up getting more praise right Saul uh Saul was angry about that right so it just it just ignited this jealousy towards David right and so the same thing can happen when you have a friend uh, a quote-unquote friend who uh you know they don't really like you they don't, you know, but, but they know that you have something good and they call themselves like, ex exploiting your gifts. And sometimes that can backfire, um, you know, that can backfire on them. Right. And so that's number one. Number two, 
is they may try to make you feel insignificant, right? And so uh, a sign that um, you're dealing with a woman who is jealous of you is she may purposely try to make you feel insignificant. She may do petty things like, um, you know, y'all have been friends for years, but you know, she is always forgetting your birthday. You never forget her birthday. You always wish her a happy birthday and reach out to her, but she never, you know, acknowledges your birthday, right? Every year she's like, oh girl, I forgot her. Oh girl, I'm sorry. I forgot that you was even having that party. I didn't even make, I can't even, I, you know, I can't make it or whatever. Right. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, they can even play petty games, like not even like, like not responding to your text. Right. Um, now, you know, People, a lot of people just are, they don't really like to, um, like to be on their phone like that. Right. So, you know, uh, uh, some people do, um, do not reply because they're, they're really not paying attention to their phone or they forget to reply. So that does happen, but you know, you can notice certain things, right? Like, like, you know, you know, when you're, you can notice, like when you're around her, she's quick to respond to everybody else's text. But when, when you text, you know, she doesn't respond. So, you know, it can be little things like that, or like when you accomplish something big, right. Or, or it can be something small or big, but maybe it's something small, but it's big, it's a big deal to you. Right. And you tell them about it and their response is very dry. You know, their response is very dry. Okay. Like, you know, and, and, uh, when, when people do that, um, it's, it's their way of trying to spark insecurity in you. What they want you to do is they want you to feel how they feel about themselves. And so they try to do little things to spark this insecurity in you to make you question yourself and say, Hmm, is there something wrong with me? Am I doing something wrong? You know what I mean? And so that's all, that's all that is. That is their attempt to try to spark insecurity in you. Okay. The third sign that you're dealing with a woman that is jealous of you is they will try to copy you. Okay. They will try to cop copy you. So, you know, they may start wearing stuff like how you wear stuff, right? Um, they may get their, you know, you change your hair, then they change their hair. Okay. They, they have these really single white female vibes. <laughs> have you ever seen that movie? Right. And so, um, you know, they're, they're in, and the reason why they cop, they're copying you is, is because they're in this secret competition with you. Okay. Um, they may even go as far as trying to sleep with, um, the same guys that, you know, are interested in you, right? I remember having a friend and there was this guy who really was interested in me, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want him. Um, and so suddenly she wanted him, right? And it, it just kind of was weird to me, even though I, you know, back then I didn't think too much of it, but looking back at it now, I'm like, that was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. Cause you show no interest in him whatsoever until he showed interest in me. Right. And so, you know, sometimes, um, they're in the secret competition with you, right. They want to see, well, if he's interested in her, you know, is he going to be interested in me too? You know, let's see if he's interested in me. And, and, you know, it was kind of embarrassing cause the guy like turned her down really hard. And so I kind of felt bad for her, um, <laughs> when, when she did that. Right. And so, you know, that, that's another sign that a woman is, is, is jealous of you when they're, when they're trying to copy everything that you do. Um, number four is underhanded compliments or saying things that just aren't necessary to say. Right. And so, um, you know, Matthew, Matthew 12, 34 says out of the abundance of the heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Right. And so, you know, whatever is on somebody's heart is what's going to come out of their mouth. Okay. And so, um, one of the ways, uh, somebody who is jealous of you, one of the ways that they show their jealousy is in the, it is in the little innuendos that come out of their mouth, the innuendos that you may try to ignore and not really pay attention to. Cause you know, nobody wants to walk around being offended and stuff and thinking that everybody is after them. Like nobody wants to have that. Nobody healthy wants to have that mindset, but you know, you do have to pay attention to things that people say. You do have to ask yourself, Hmm, why did they say that? You know? Um, and 
you know, uh, it may be things like, oh, y'all, y'all light skinned people always doing this, right? Or, or you think that you're better than everybody, or, or you only got that, that, uh, you only got that raise or you only accomplished that because you got pretty privilege, right? And so they will say things like that, that aren't necessary, that, that's like, you know, uh, what 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 did what, what was the point of that you know what I mean or you know instead of just saying congratulations or they oh congratulations girls about time you did x y and z or whatever and so it's 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 you know it's these little innuendos these little these little shots all right passive aggressive shots that they will fire at you that let you that signals that um you know there's something up right they they got some they got some stuff on their chest they want to they want to get off their chest with you <laughs> so you know, those are, are, are signs to pay attention to. And so my, my advice to anybody, if you're, you're, you find that you're dealing with, um, somebody who is jealous of you, um, is to, is to distance yourself. Okay. Don't try to confront them about it. Um, because it is, it, it would, for one, you can't go up to somebody and be like, yeah, you are, you jealous of me. You know, you can't, you just can't do that. Or, or you know what I mean? Like it, you don't know that for sure, even though you kind of do know it because they're showing all the signs that they are, but you can't just be like, yeah, you jealous of me. Let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Like it's probably just going to make the situation worse. Um, you really can't do anything about somebody who's jealous of you because it's, it's their own issue. It's their own heart issue that they need to work out, that they need to pray about, that they need to get healing for. My best advice is when you find out somebody is jealous of you is to create distance. Don't, don't, don't mess with them. You ain't gotta, um, maybe all the way cut them off. Cause maybe there's somebody you have to work with, or is there's their family member that you see regularly, but you definitely want to create distance, um, and keep yourself safe. Okay. Um, because jealousy is a, you know, when it, it can manifest into, uh, other things. Okay. When it's not dealt with. All right. So, um, you know, when, when you find out you're, you're hanging out with women who are jealous of you. It, the best thing that you can do is just create distance and, and go where go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. OK, that's my motto. I don't stick around in situations where I'm just tolerated or um, I'm sensing that people are maybe jealous of me or that they're trying to, you know, sabotage me. I'm, I'm not I don't stick around those situations. I go elsewhere because I'm not desperate for friends. I'm not desperate to be around nobody. OK, Um <laughs> if I got to cut you off and go elsewhere, I, that's exactly what I'll do. Um, I value my peace. I value my mindset. Um, you know, I value my life because like I said, de uh, jealousy can turn to something dangerous. There's been videos of women who have planned uh, attacks on other women that end up killing them. So you, you really want to be careful with that. Okay. And so, um, that is all I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments, have you ever dealt with, with a jealous woman before in your life? Are you dealing with jealous women in your life before? Have you ever been a jealous woman, right? That's the real, that's the real question. How many, how many of us are, are, are going to admit that we've been jealous of somebody? I don't think there's any woman I've actually been jealous of. Um, there are certain things I've seen in other people's lives. Where I've been like, man, I wish I could, you know, why I can't be me. Right. But I don't think I've actually been like, man, I'm so jealous of her. Um, I don't think I've, I've ever experienced that, but yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. As I always say, uh, if this is content that you like, if this is content that you love, if this is content that you need, make sure that you hit the like button and also make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of my future content and I'll see y'all in my next video.